Hello, we're returning to the wonderful story of wonder and we're starting the part of the story where wonder is getting his first tour of his new school and he's meeting some future classmates at the same time. The Grand Tour. Jack, Will, Julian and Char Charlotte and I walked down a big hallway to some wide stairs. No one said a word as we walked up to the third floor. When we got to the top of the stairs, we went down a little hallway full of lots of doors. Julian opened door marked 301. This is our home room, he said, standing in front of the half open door. We have Ms. Potosa. They say she's okay, at least for home room. I heard she's really strict uh, if you get her for math, though. That's not true, said Charlotte. My sister had her last year and said she's totally nice. Not what I heard, answered Julian, but whatever. He closed the door and continued walking down the hallway. This is the science lab, he said when he got to the next door and just like that he did two uh, and just like he did two seconds ago he stood in front of the half open door and started talking he didn't look at me once while he talked which was okay because I wasn't looking at him either you don't know who you have for science until the first day of school but you want to get mr. holler he used to be in the lower school he would play this giant tuba in class it was a baritone horn, said Charlotte. It was a tuba, answered Julian, closing the door. Dude, let him go inside so he can check it out, Jack Will told him, pushing past Julian and opening the, the door. Go inside if you want, Julian said. It was the first time he looked at me. I shrugged and walked over to the door. Julian moved out of the way quickly, like he was afraid I might accidentally touch him as I passed by, by him. Nothing much to see, Julian said, walking in after me. He started pointing to a bunch of stuff around the room. That's the incubator. That big black thing is the chalkboard. These are the desks. These are the chairs. Those are the Bunsen burners. This is a gross science poster. This is chalk. This is the eraser. <laughs> I'm sure he knows what an eraser is, Charlotte said, sounding a little like Via. How would I know what he knows, Julian answered. Mr. Tishman said he's never been to school, a school before. You know what an eraser is, right? Julian, uh, Charlotte asked me. I admit I was feeling so nervous that I didn't know what to say or do except look at the floor. Hey, can you talk? Asked Jackwell. Yeah, I nodded. I still really hadn't looked at any of them yet, not directly. You know what an eraser is, right? Asked Jackwell. Of course, I mumbled. I told you there was nothing to see in here, said Julian, shrugging. I have a question, I said, trying to keep my voice steady. Um... What exactly is homeroom? Is that like a subject? No, that's just your group, explained Charlotte, ignoring Julian's smirk. It's like where you go when you get to school in the morning and your homeroom teacher takes attendance and stuff like that. In a way, it's your main class, even though it's not really a class. I mean, it's a class, but I think he gets it, Charlotte, <laughs> said Jack Will. Do you get it? Charlotte asked me. Yeah, I nodded at her. Okay, let's get out of here, said Jack Will, walking away. Wait, Jack, we're supposed to be answering questions, said Charlotte. Jack Will rolled his eyes a little as he turned around. Do you have any more questions? He asked. Um, no, I answered. Oh, well, actually, yes. Is your name Jack or Jack Will? Jack is my first name. Will is my last name. Oh, because Mr. Tushman introduced you as Jack Will, so I thought, ha, you, you thought his name was Jack Will, laughed Julian. Yes, yeah, some people call me by my first and last name, Jack shrugged. I don't know why. Anyway, can we go now? Let's go to the performance space next, said Charlotte, leading the way out of the science room. It's very cool. You'll like it, August. Performance space. Charlotte basically didn't stop talking as we headed down to the second floor. She was describing the play they had put on last year, which was Oliver. She played Oliver, even though she's a girl. As she, uh, as she said this, she pushed open the double doors to a huge auditorium. At the other end of the room was a stage. Charlotte started skipping toward the stage. Julian ran after and, and then turned around halfway down the aisle. Come on, he said loudly, waving for me to follow him, which I did. 
There were like hundreds of people in the audience that night, said Charlotte, and it took me a second to realize she was talking about Oliver. I was so nervous. I had so many lines, and I had all these songs to sing. It was so, 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 so hard. Although she was talking to me, she really didn't look at me much. On opening night, my parents were all the way in the back of the auditorium, like where Jack is right now. But when the lights are off, you can't really see that far back. So I was like, where are my parents? Where are my parents? And then Mr. Resnick, our theater arts teacher last year, said, Charlotte, stop being such a diva. <laughs> diva. That, that's like a, a prima donna, the, the star. <laughs> and I was like, OK. And then I spotted my parents, and I was totally fine. I didn't forget a single line. When she was talking, I noticed Julian staring at me out of the corner of his eye. This is something I see people do a lot of me, a lot with me. I think they, they, they think I don't know when they're staring, but I can tell from the way their heads are tilted. I turned around to see where Jack had gone. He had stayed in the back of the auditorium like he was bored. We put on a play every year, said Charlotte. I don't think he's going to want to be in the school play, Charlotte, said Julian sarcastically. You can be in the play without actually being in the play, Charlotte answered, looking at me. You can do lighting. You can paint the backdrops. Oh, yeah, whoopee. <laughs> Julian, said Julian, twirling his finger in the air. Whoopee. But you don't have to take the theater arts elective if you don't want to, Charlotte said, shrugging. There's a dance or chorus or band. There's leadership. Only dorks take leadership, <laughs> Julian interrupted. Julian, you're being so obnoxious, said Charlotte, which made Julian laugh. I'm taking the science elective, I said. Cool, said Charlotte. Julian looked directly at me. The science elective is supposedly the hardest elective of all, he said. No offense, but if you've never been to school, never ever been to school, in a school before, why do you think you're suddenly going to be smart enough to take the science elective? I mean, have you ever even studied science before? Like real science, not the kind you do with kids. Yeah, I nodded. He was homeschooled, Julian. Oh, all right, let's leave it there. We have a conflict. Somebody's not being very supportive. Julian. I had a student named Julian once. He was very nice. He wasn't like this Julian at all. All right, until next time.